Hi guys, Barnaby here again. This is part two of Tottenham Transfer Talk with Tom Edwards from The Telegraph. Make sure you uh, watch part one if you haven't done already. Uh, we've talked about a few transfer outs in part one already, but we're going to particularly talk about transfer outs here and starting with this rumour that has been going around about Moussa Dembele interesting Sunderland at around £15 million. Pounds. Do you think there's much in that? Um, well, I certainly think they're interested. I mm -hmm. mean, there's been quite a few reports and they've come from, you know, uh, local, I think the Sunderland Echo have, have written about it and they're usually quite good, the local papers, uh, for the clubs that they represent. I don't think Potts wants to sell him. He's obviously, he started against Manchester United. I think... Um, he wants to give him a chance, doesn't he? He wants, he wants to give, to give him, him a chance. chance that he didn't and, really give him last year. And Dembele has lots of great qualities. I've always kind of thought that he's a better player um, when, when he's on the front foot in attacking positions rather than at the back of the midfield where mm -hmm. he's... You know, his kind of ponderous, uh, slower side of his game yeah. kind of comes out a bit more. Um, he was, you know, I think he was instrumental in the 5-3 in the defeat of Chelsea last season. He um, was, I, I agree think with that, yeah. He tends to play well against good teams um, and he's also, he's a little bit older. We've got a lot of youth in our team, so I think a little bit of experience, particularly with the kind of uh, attributes that he brings to the game, like the kind of, the measure of calm, the measure of control, mm. would certainly work well in a team dynamic. So I don't think Potts wants to let him go. I kind of think he just needs, he needs to score a couple of goals. If yes, he scored a couple of goals, his confidence to be out. He needs to feel, it, it strikes me that maybe he needs to feel like he's one of the most important players in the team. Yeah. Because when he was at Fulham, he was like the main man and everything went through him and he would boss games. Yeah. Whereas at Spurs, he's never really, uh, and this happens a lot with players at Spurs, I think, where they come from being the main man at their team and then they come to Spurs and they're amongst, you know, other main men, so now Kane Sigurdsson, and Sigurdsson, notably, was one Sigurdsson, of those, I think. exactly, perfect yeah. example. So um, maybe a couple of goals would make him feel a bit more, uh, you know, special. But also, now there are so many Belgians around him, you'd think, you know, they should be really bossing this changing room. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You do just feel like sometimes he's just got to have a couple of shots just to get his range in yeah. and kind of get that confidence back. Because, you know, he's, he is a great player. So, yeah, I, I don't think we'll let him go unless... We get a really big offer. That's what for I was going to say. What kind of money do you think it would actually take for Levy's head to be turned and Poch to say, okay, well, we can sell him and maybe get someone else in? Well, we don't have that much time. I yeah. think, you know, we, there's, there's lots of talk about players. But Paul Mitchell will have his list, though, won't he? Paul Mitchell will have his list, yeah. Um, but it's, you know, if you're talking about negotiating an entire transfer for Dembele and then negotiating another transfer for a replacement for him, mm -hmm. I mean, the one thing he doesn't have much of is pace, which is obviously something mm -hmm. that we lack. Um, if but we are looking 18, to make. If he was offered 18 million quid, do you think it would be a done deal? I think I kind of think he'd take it. I do. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Yeah, I mean, it would never be a million on top of what we paid for him. It would never be as simple as that, would it? There would be there would yeah. be kind of uh, other. And we'd never of, find out anyway because no. of all the undisclosed deals. But anyway, yeah. uh, it's it's unlikely. One, I, I, think. I, I think unlikely. It's a, a rumor that will keep going. But uh, I I have to say I agree with you. I don't want him to go. Uh, I I think he deserves another chance. Okay, one more. Uh, Andros Townsend. Now this is another one that always continues to roll on and on. His father has done an interview, I think, with Sky Sports today and um, said uh, Andros wants to stay at Spurs. He wants to prove himself on Pochettino's side. Um, there are so many rumours going around about you know, 15 million Newcastle or Villa that it strikes me that maybe he's not as important to Pochettino as Townsend wants to be. No, I don't think he is. Um, and I think there may be an element of uh, him... I mean, you know, Ta Townsend obviously loves Spurs. I would love to keep him. I think he's... You know, I've always thought there's a lot of potential there. He, ha he adds pace. The problem is he just runs into dead ends, yeah. which is an, a, an element of his game he needs to improve. And I think he has been given a chance to improve that and hasn't really done it. Yeah. So I think Potch would be, w would be keen to see the back of him. I think there's probably also an element of him saying saying that because he knows that he's not going to go to a club as big as Spurs. So he yeah. will end up going further down the league and... He, he, you know, he won't get to play in the Europa League, probably, um, and he'll be kind of scrapping around mid-table yeah. rather than aiming for top four like, yeah. like we are. I have to say, he's another player, and, and feel free to disagree with this, um, but what I've found is when he plays for England, and he does do very well for England, he tends to get on the ball more kind of in central areas and take his shots from there. Yeah. And actually, he's another one of those players that I think we've got where I kind of think, Maybe, uh, I mean, this is ridiculous. Uh, this is from years ago, but back in the day, I think when Martin Yole was manager, we played an FA Cup tie, tie away at Stamford Bridge when Jose Mourinho was manager there, and, and we played brilliantly, and Lennon was put just behind the front man. And that whole, and everyone was like, oh, he can't play there because it's, it's not using his pace, but he was brilliant. And I kind of think Townsend maybe should be given a little chance behind the front man because then he can go left or right, 
you know, and it's not just a matter of him like just going exactly like in that L shape. Well, that's the he? problem, isn't it? He's, I mean, yeah, shape. he's always trying to come into the middle, isn't he? And so it makes uh, it makes him very predictable for for oppositions. Yeah. And then when he does when he does go wide, but, he doesn't tend to get any good, going, good service. But when you're into coming the into the middle from one side, there's really only one way you can go. Whereas if you're picking up the ball in the middle and then you're fronting up a defender, I feel like he can take it right or left because he's got equally good yeah, shots. Yeah, on yeah, both yeah. Sides. That's true. That's true. Um, I'm I not mean, saying I think he will get that chance. No. Well, who are you gonna who are you gonna no, uh, exactly. replace to, to put him in uh, there. I mean, he might get yeah. a run out there in the Europa League, I yeah. suppose, but he, he's unlikely to be starting there with any regularity, I wouldn't have thought. So uh, he wants to stay, but you think there's a chance before the window closes that he might be... Yeah, well, I mean, there has been speculation about him going fairly consistently for a while now, so As it, Billy, it tends to come and go. It would make sense, Tactics wouldn't it? Tactics him, yeah, 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 go out and run around a bit. So maybe Townsend, Arm around the shoulder. potentially Townsend and Adebayor, I would think, to, to Villa. That one yeah. seems to have been... Uh, yeah, the Adebayor one has been going on for ages, though, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, God. Uh, I mean, it seems like it's personal terms. Um, and he It seems like it's personal problems. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, Tom, well, look, thanks a lot for coming on again. Guys, let us know what you think about what we both had to say in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, at TV. And we'll see you next time for another Tottenham Transfer Talk. Hi guys, Barnaby here once again for Spurred On and another edition of Tottenham Transfer Talk with my man Tom Edwards from The Telegraph. How are you, Tom? Very well, thank you. 